So today, instead of a story of the day, actually I should probably tell you what you need for your workout. Um, we're going to be doing a speed strength workout. Hello, Stila. Um, and uh, we're going to be doing actually a smorgasbord of a whole bunch of different um, circuits today. But the uh, first one that we're going to be doing after we do the mobility flow is just a very, very simple um, AFAP, which means as fast as possible. So we're going to be doing about five exercises as quickly as possible. We're going to have about two minutes of rest, and then we're going to go back into it uh, really, really fast. So we're going to do that four times, and then we're going to do two sets of uh, some pretty intense ab work, and then we're going to go into our seven-way hips, and then we're going to do our homework, and it is going to be awesome. Um, so basically, all you need is a, a pair of light dumbbells if you have them. That would be great, and if you don't, Grab a book, that is, that is totally fine, all right? So, um, housekeeping. Um, next week, we are starting a very, very limited class schedule here at the dojo. Um, we are checking, if not double checking with everybody to find out if they still wanna continue with remote workouts or if they wanna do in person. Right now, the 6 p.m. classes next week are the only classes that we're offering and they are full, so I do have some people on a wait list. Once we get that wait list to a certain number, that's when we can open up another class. So um, uh, what I'm gonna send out to you today is a link to um, uh, the class schedule. And this also has, this, this has the Zoom schedule on it and it also has the in-person training schedule and the semi-private training schedule on it. So it has all the things. And this is gonna be subject to change. So that's why um, I'm not even printing them out. I'm just sending them out digitally. But um, just so the, uh, the remote people, and it doesn't even matter if you're remote because even the in-person training people are still gonna be doing remote a certain days of the week. But I wanted you to know when you're getting a live Zoom workout and when you are getting your pre-recorded workout. So you're gonna be getting your live Zoom workout on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And then your pre-recorded workouts will be Tuesday and Thursday. And those are the strength days, okay? So the people that are doing the in-class, uh, the in-person training, um, you've either picked Monday and Wednesday, and that's gonna be upper body and lower body, or you've picked Tuesday and Thursday, and that's upper body and lower body. And that's when we're taping these classes up here is during these classes down here, all right? So we're just trying to make this as efficient as possible. Um, I'm either gonna alter the Zoom invite or I'm going to create a new Zoom invite just to make sure that it's all clear and that there's no straggler Zooms on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, anyway, but we are gonna be texting everybody, just making sure what the plan is uh, with everybody confirming class time and all of that. So. Again, like uh, even with the class times, like we're, we're planning on doing this for a couple weeks and then we're gonna see if restrictions are lessened, if we can open up more class times, if we can have a different structure in here. Um, you know, it's, it's, it, we're just gonna be being um, not organic because it, it all has to be very, very structured, but we're gonna be um, very mobile, okay, as far as, as um, all the different things that are going on. So. That is our housekeeping, that is the story of the day, that is what's going on right now, and we're gonna go ahead and get into our mobility. Guys, let's go ahead and start with those Cossack stretches, all right? So we're going to push back onto our butt and then rock forward as my hip, my leg is directly out from my hip, rocking back and forth. Trying to get a nice little wrist mobility with this. If you need to, you can come up onto your knuckles or grab a pair of dumbbells and hold on to those. Those make your wrist feel pretty good too if you're having wrist issues. But right now we're just gonna rock back and forth 10 times. And then we're gonna leg lift, boom. Give me five of those. Now you can see my leg, my hip is staying static with this, all right? I'm just activating that glute. I'm not getting a huge range of motion with this. All right, now I'm gonna take it to the other side. Woo, poor, poor little hips. Trying to give them some lovin's. Ha. Nine and 10. There we go, give me some leg lifts. Ha. 
five. Nice. All right, so I want you to come into this tall kneeling position. You're going to have your knees out just a little bit for stability. And then what I'm going to do is I want to do nice, really big shoulder circles. All right? So give me 10 forward. I want you to feel that full range of motion. I want you to feel your shoulder blades come together at the back. And I want you to extend out of your arms when you come forward. Eight, nine, and 10. Now let's take it back the other way. Guys, squeeze those glutes while you're doing this. Get those glutes nice and warmed on, bringing that pelvis forward. You might have more of a range of motion in your arms than I do. That's great. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's go ahead and go into this horizontal plane. Being gentle, but just letting the inertia of the swing bring our arms forward and back. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the back. All right, now we're gonna go into our horizontal plane. Up and down. Oh man, guys, these are so good. If you're sitting at your desk during the day and you're just kind of feeling yourself hunching over more and more and more, just stand up and do some of these. Oh, get that thoracic spine to really open up. All right. Next, guys, we're gonna go into our frog stretch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna widen out my, my knees. My feet are gonna come directly off my knees and then I'm going to push back into this position and I'm gonna squeeze my knees together, squeezing the earth for five, four, three, two, one, and then I'm gonna rock it forward. So I'm gonna re release my knees. I'm gonna widen out my legs a little bit more if I can, don't, don't stress that groin. Push back in, squeeze the earth for five, four, three, two, one, release. All right, push back in, squeeze the earth for five, four, three, two, one, nice. All right, I'm gonna gently come up. Let's go ahead in this high kneeling position and let's just get those wrists loosened up a bit. So we're just doing some rotations forward. We're gonna do about 10 forward or whichever direction you're going right now. And then we're gonna reverse it for 10, taking it back the other way. Eight, nine, 10, there we go. Now we're gonna go into our pigeon stretch. So what I wanna do is I wanna come into this high plank. I'm taking that knee, I'm bringing it forward. I'm bringing it in between my hands. That back leg is staying super active, all right? I'm up on that toe. Now I'm gonna bring this hip down to that, that, um, this foot that's on this side to even out my hips. I'm gonna breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Give me one more big breath in and out. Let's switch it out to the other side. Bringing that knee through, feeling this really nice stretch and then bringing that other hip down to that foot to get those hips to even out. Breathing in, breathing out, in, out, one more time. And out, nice. Now guys, while we're still on the floor, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay on my belly. I'm gonna bring my one hand out to the side. My other hand is gonna stay underneath my shoulder. I'm gonna take that opposite leg and reach to that extended arm. I'm gonna try to get that foot flat on the ground. It doesn't have to touch my hand, but I just want to get that foot over as far as possible, getting this really, really nice pec stretch, breathing into it and out, in and out. Give me one more big breath in and out. Let's take it to the other side. This hand comes under this shoulder. This hand comes out. This leg extends over. Ah. Again, guys, we're all asymmetrical creatures. 
You might find one side is a little bit tighter than the other. All right, big breaths in, big breaths out. Fantastic, okay. So let's come up. Now what I wanna do is we're gonna go into our I, Y, W's and T's, okay? I'm gonna be a little bit more narrow in my stance. I'm gonna come over into this hinge position where I'm bringing my butt to that back wall. I'm gonna bring my hands in close to my ears, palms facing down, and then I'm gonna have palms facing up as I bring my hands back. Palms facing down, palms facing up. Really feeling this in those shoulder blades as you extend. Feel this in the shoulders. Pause for a second. We're gonna do five of each of these exercises. That's four and five. Next guys, we're going to go into our Y's. So for my Y's, I'm going to be out at a, more of a 45 degree angle as opposed to being in close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at my knees, come out at this 45, pause. I'm still in that really nice hinge position, trying to get my back as flat as possible. I'm not curving my back, keeping that back flat, coming out and in five times. You should really feel this in the hamstrings. All right. So from here, what I'm gonna do is my T's, hinge position, coming directly out from my shoulders and back down. Directly out and back down. Three, four, and five. Nice. Now we're gonna go into our W's. So for my W's, my elbows are together, my palms are together. I'm in that hinge position. My hands come directly out to my shoulders and back down. So what that looks like is right here and down. My elbows are back. Three, four, and five. Great job, guys. All right, so for my next warm-up exercise, what we're gonna do is walk arounds with T-spine rotation. So I wanna come into this deep lunge, put my hands on the ground, walk out into this high plank, keeping that butt at the same level as the shoulders, coming back into the other side, rotate out, come back out, we're in, and we're rotating as we're following that hand with the eye out, rotate, rotate, all right, give me one more on each side, getting those upper bodies, Nice and warmed up, that lunge position. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our warm up by doing each of the exercises in this circuit. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my mat so I don't trip on that. And the first thing that we're gonna start with is our single leg glute bridge. So I'm coming down to the floor. I'm gonna take one leg up, I'm gonna dorsal flex this leg. I wanna keep this leg super active, all right? This other foot is close to my butt. I'm gonna reach that leg up to the ceiling and back down, up to the ceiling and back down, all right? So really get that lower back to push into the ground as you're doing this. Now, when we're in the circuit itself, we're gonna go fast with this. So it's gonna be boom, 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 all right? You're really gonna feel that glute activate as you're doing this, all right? So go ahead and give me 10 as a warm up on each side. I think this is probably 10. Take it to the other side. Really get that foot to reach up to the ceiling, lower back on the ground when you come back down. Nine, 10. From here, 
we're going to go into our bent rows. So this is where it's great to have a light pair of dun dumbbells or if you have a book or something that's weighted, that's great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into that hinge position and I'm not going to curve that back. I'm going to keep that back flat. I'm going to keep those lats activated. I'm going to pull those dumbbells back to my hips, feeling those hamstrings activate. And again, I'm going to do this for 10 right now to warm up. But when we're in the circus, circuit, it's going to be boom, 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 boom. All right. So we got 10 of those. And then we have our push press. So what we're going to do is our dumbbells are going to be out to the side. We're going to be in a, a wider position so that we can go into a quarter squat. And then from that quarter squat, we're going to push up into this overhead press coming back down. So I want you to catch it on the way down. Use those legs to push you up. Come back down. Keep that weight in the ball of the toe, guys. Boom. Boom. Really lock out those legs at the top. Catch it on the way down. Nine and ten. Nice. Then get our dumbbells out of the way because now we're going to do some Snurpees. So the two ways to do the Snurpee is you can either just lower yourself to the ground, you come into the knee grab, come back down, roll it over, pop it back up. All right, now I'm facing the other way. I come back down, my knee grab, I roll it over, pop it up. You want to make it harder? You're going to do a pistol squat, control down, come back into that knee grab, roll it over, pop it up, go the other leg with that controlled pistol squat. Don't fall down with this. Roll it over and pop it up. All right. So when we're actually doing the circuit, we're going to do that many. We're going to go one, two, three, four. All right. So we're going to be facing each wall twice. And those are all the exercises in this circuit. All right. So I'm going to start the timer. The only reason why I'm going to have the timer set is so that we get a good two minutes of rest while we're doing this circuit. But we're going to do those single leg loop bridges, 10 on each side, 10 bent rows, 10 push presses, and then four Snurpees. All right, we're going to do that for four sets. So it's going to go pretty fast. All right. Grabbing some water before I start. All right. Let's get down on the ground. <laughs> All right, have my hands out to the side, bringing that leg up, and we're going for it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming back up. All right, going into our bet rows. Two, three, get those shoulder blades together at the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I have my push presses, widening out those feet, coming down into that quarter squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, Snurpees. Here we go. Remember which leg you're doing the pistol squat. If you're doing the pistol squat, if you're just lowering yourself, you don't have to worry about that. Knee grab, roll it over, pop it up. Knee grab, roll it over, pop it up. Last one, here we go. And pop it up. All right. We got two minutes of rest. Great job, guys. You should feel those heart rates. Really activate. Yeah, Stila feels it. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to unmute you so I can hear what you're saying. What's, what's up, Stila? 
how I think you're on. I think you've muted yourself. Just one Slurpee at the end. So we're doing one, two, three, four. So I'm facing this wall. That's one time. The second time I'm facing the other wall. That's two. Then the third. When I face the next wall, it's three. And then when I face the back wall, it's four. Yeah. Like do one, roll over, do another one, get up, that's one complete set or two. Whenever you're facing a wall, that's one. And now I'm, I come up and now I'm facing this wall, that's two. It's confusing, yeah. It's confusing. So we're just, we're doing four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, I got you now. Okay. I thought you were all together to do one. Oh, got it. Yeah, I said that's right. Okay. Yeah. Cool, awesome, thanks for asking that. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. We got about 33 seconds left. All right. Guys, this is set two. All right. So, starting with our glute bridges. Leg up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it out. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Standing up, grabbing our weights, getting into that really nice hinge position, and boom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push press, widen out those feet. Come down into that quarter squat, boom. Really use those legs to get those dumbbells up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, then we have our Snurpees. So you're either sitting down or you're doing a pistol squat down. Knee grab, roll it over. That was one. Knee grab, roll it over, that's two. Knee grab, roll it over, that's three. Knee grab, roll it over, and four, yay. All right, you guys are finishing up with those Snurpees, nice job, nice job, yes. You can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. I just want you to go fast for you. That's the important part of this circuit, all right? We're gonna take about two minutes of rest. We're gonna go back into it. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. This is a really nice circuit because we're really getting that, those heart rates are pumping. And then we're hopefully getting into almost a full recovery before we hit it again. This is really, really good conditioning, all right? They're very, very simple, simple exercises that we're doing, but they are extracting a lot of energy from us right now, all right? So, still got about a minute left. If you want to, you can always do an active recovery with any of these circuits. We just wanna make sure that we're never here, trying to breathe. You're not allowing yourself to get any oxygen in if you're doing that. You can either put your hands on your hips for the superhero position, put your hands up in this victory position to really get the air in. And you can also do a walking quad stretch in place as far as our active recovery is concerned. This is a nice little stretch that we can do. I like the active recovery. Ah. Really reaching and stretching, feeling that nice stretch in those obliques as we're doing this. All right. Okay, guys, we got about 20 seconds left and then we're going back into it, all right? So I'm gonna grab a little bit more water Okay, let's get into position. 
and go into position. My foot is up, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Standing up. Getting our dumbbells for our bent rows. Get that set up really nice. I want you to get that hinge position. Feel those hamstrings. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then our push presses. Widen out those feet, quarter squat, explode. Squeeze those glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Now I got my Snurpees. Here we go. Into that knee grab. Roll it over. Pop it up. This is two. This is three. Wasn't as graceful on that last one. <laughs> and four. Ha, yeah. All right, two minutes of rest, guys. Two minutes of rest. Woo! Feeling it. All right, and then we're gonna be starting our last set, which is gonna be our best set. Awesome. A nice other active recovery stretch that we can do is a cat-cow. All right, rolling through the vertebrae, bringing it the other way, hips up, shoulders up, pulling up out of that thoracic spine, coming back down. Guys, if you're ever feeling any, any ickiness in your lower back, cat-cow is a great exercise to do. Just being real gentle with that back as we roll through each vertebrae. We got about another minute of rest. Ah, taking it slow, making sure that we're still really breathing, really trying to get as much recovery as possible, getting as much air into our lungs as possible, okay? Before we go into this last circuit with this, okay? So, we're gonna be getting after it here in probably another 20 seconds or so. So guys, when we're doing those push presses, what we're doing is we're just coming into a quarter squat, so we're not going into a deep squat. We're just coming into a quarter squat. My elbows are in at the bottom, like I do for the overhead press, and then I explode, so my legs are really propelling my arms up, and then I'm catching back into it, all right? So you're really exploding up, catching back into it, okay? When we're on the floor and we're doing our glute bridge, with a single leg, really think about that, that, that glute that is activated of that leg that's up, and I want you to squeeze, 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 okay? All right, guys, we're getting into it. This is our last set. Leg up, keep this leg really activated. Foot is dorsal flexed, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Guys, bent row, bent row. Lats are on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push press. Coming down. Boom, two, three, four, keep it strong. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice, now I have my Snurpees, okay? So I'm either lowering myself with both legs or I'm doing that pistol squat, rolling it over, 
Pop it up. Try to go as fast as you can with this. Get maximum benefit from it. Rolling it over. Popping it up. All right. Coming back down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Roll it over. Pop it up. Okay. Nice job, guys. Finishing up those Snurpees. Yay. Great. Okay. So that was it for that circuit. Now we're going to go into our ab circuit, which we're only going to do two sets of each of these exercises, but we're going to do high reps with it. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab some water while we're resting for a second. All right. So what I'm going to do is while you're resting, I'm going to show you what these exercises are, but we'll do them together. Okay. When we actually do the circuit. So you just rest for a second. We're going to start with knee grabs. So my hands are in tight to my chest, throwing those hands forward, feet come down to the ground, just touching those shoulder blades and then coming back up again. All right. Getting those shoulders over those hips. We're going to do 15 of those. And then we're going to do 15 bicycle crunches. So for my bicycle crunch, opposite elbow to opposite leg, other leg stays really straight, really strong as we're rotating. All right. That's going to be 15 on each side. All right. You're going to feel it. Then for my toe touches, I want to keep my legs super activated, bringing my arms in at the bottom, reaching up to my legs at the top, getting those shoulder blades off the ground, coming back down reaching up. All right. Now we do two different variations of this. We're doing this variation today. Sometimes we do a variation where my legs are at a 45 and this part of my legs at a 90, but today we're going to stay super active, keeping those legs straight and those toe touches. And then we have our sprinter crunch. So for my sprinter crunch, it's just like my knee grab, except it's opposite elbow to opposite leg coming back down, opposite elbow to opposite leg coming back down. All right. That's going to be 15 on each side. And then I have my penguins. So my feet are in close to my butt. I'm going to be reaching down my shoes as I go to either side. All right. Keeping up on those shoulder blades. So I'm really working those obliques in this. Okay. Those are the exercises that we are doing for our ab workout part of this circuit. So we're just doing two sets, 15 of each. If we're doing a double sided one, 15 on each side. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with our 15 knee grabs. All right. You can go slower than me. You can go faster than me, but just get those 15 knee grabs in, making sure that your form is perfect, getting those feet down at the top. And we're going three, four, five, six. I'm pacing myself because I know how much of a burner those 15 bicycle crunches are going to be eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Always end on the down. Now we have our bicycle crunches. Other leg is active. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo! Feeling that. All right. Next, I have my toe touches. Keep those legs active, guys. Keep those legs as straight as you possibly can. Reach up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice. All right. Now we have my sprinter crunches. Starting in this knee grab start position, 
Opposite elbow to opposite knee, back down. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Five more. Eleven. Yeah. Twelve. Ah. Thirteen. Fourteen. Woo. And fifteen. Yes. All right. Penguins. Penguins. Reaching down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Woo! Let's just take a quickie second for a break. Now, if you notice that your form is wavering on any of those, don't do 15. Just give me 10. That's okay, all right? This is a burner series. It's, it's really, really intense on those abs. Yeah, I mean, obviously. And so we only have one more set of each of these exercises left, okay? And we're gonna go for it here, all right? So I'm gonna start with my knee grabs. 15 knee grabs, here we go. Woo! Always count on the down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, nice. All right, now we have our bicycle crunches. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, boom, woo, yeah. Now I got my toe touches. Legs are as straight as I possibly can get them. Reaching up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15, yeah. Now we got these sprinter crunches. What a burner. All right, guys, hitting it. Again, if you notice your form is wavering, don't give me as many. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, woo, ten. 
feeling it? 11. 12. 13. 14. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And 15. If you've already done, you're starting your penguins. Feet are in. Reaching down those shoes as far as you can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. All right. When you're done with those, let's grab some water. Then we're going to go into our seven way hips. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Let me turn off the timer. We do not need that. Okay, guys. Seven way hips. Laying on my side, stacking my body, stacking those feet with those knees, with those hips, with those shoulders, bringing that arm forward, raising and lowering that leg. I'm not going super high with this. All right, I'm just going about 12 to 18 inches up. We're doing this 10 times. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Center to forward, keeping that distance between those legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Center to back. One, two, three, four. Not too far back. Five, six. Just feel that glute activate and come forward. Eight, nine, ten. Forward to back. Forward to back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten. Woo! Small circles forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Small circles back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! And then big bicycles for dessert. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, switching it out to the other side. Oh, all right. Making sure that my ankles, knees, hips, shoulders are aligned. My hand is forward to keep me from falling forward. And I'm lifting, feet are dorsal flexed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Center to forward. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Center to back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward to back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and 10. Circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Bicycles for dessert. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, we're in the home stretch. Now we have our homework. As if you haven't done enough abs today, we're gonna do a little bit more. Woo! So we have our ten knee grabs. Okay, here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha ha. All right. Now we're going to go into our squats with our hamstring bias. So for my squats with my hamstring bias, I wanna come into a deep squat, all right? I'm touching my toes, I'm rotating out, I'm rotating out, I'm bringing my chin to my chest and I'm lengthening those legs, getting that hamstring stretch, coming back down, rotate, rotate. Lengthen those legs. This is three. This is four. This is five. All right. So guys, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do your push-ups with T-spine rotation, all right? So you're either doing this from the floor where you're doing a push-up and then at the top of the push-up, you're rotating out, you're doing another push-up, you're rotating out, keeping those elbows in, or you're gonna do it from an elevated surface. Go ahead and give me five of those. So it's push up, one, push up, two, three, four, five. I'm not gonna do this today because I'm trying to rehab this shoulder. So instead, I'm gonna do swimmers, but you go ahead and do your push ups. I'm gonna do about 10 swimmers, all right? And go. <laughs> All right. Woo! That was a smorgasbord of different exercises. So glad you guys joined me today. I will be sending out this here schedule. If you are confused in any way of what is happening or you have, we have so many different ways that we're contacting you, just give either me or Josh a call and we'll get on, a phone with, get on the phone with you and we'll make sure that you understand what's happening because there's, there's a lot going on next week as far as the change of the Zoom schedule and then the class schedule, which is reservation only at this point, okay? So guys, don't forget, we are here to help you burn fat, build muscle, feel good, bring forth, the warrior within. We love, we love you and I can't wait to see all your faces. I'm so happy that uh, a lot of you guys borrowed equipment because I get to see your faces early, which is fantastic. Ah!